and all this because President Jacob Zuma and his cronies inside and outside the ruling party are reaching into your back pocket and are helping themselves to billions and billions of rands in South Africa. That is why unless the corruption and waste stops in this country, it is not going to be long before people say, we are prepared to pay our fair share, but this far and no further, and we are going to have a tax revolt on our hands in South Africa. I thank you. Thank you. Honorable Shibambo. Th thank you very much, uh, House Chairperson. You know, Minister of uh, Finance, South Africa's revenue structure is inherently incapable <coughs> to respond to the country's developmental challenges. If the past 10 years, year on year's growth of the revenue is anything to go by, we will permanently be incapable to respond to the developmental challenges of our homelessness, of landlessness, of the so many things, of access to education. Because there's not been a radical expansion of the revenue base in a manner that will be able to respond to all South Africa's developmental challenges. And we're going to talk to how we must then begin to usher in some structural legislated reforms in terms of taking our country and uh, broadening the revenue base in a manner that was going to be inclusive. But before that, let's make some few remarks on the budget. We welcome the dividend withholding tax, and we think that it must grow towards 40 percent uh, from the current 20 percent that has been announced. And we, we welcome the increase in the, the income tax of those who earn above 1.5 million. And we believe that we should have increased corporate income tax as well because as a component of the revenue, corporate uh, tax is declining. It's 17% of the entire revenue that is collected by the state and it should play a critical role. But we're not here to, to, to dwell much on analysis. The economists and the political scientists will deal with that. We're here to speak on the way forward in terms of what should they happen, what is to be done. We think that as part of the interventions that has to happen is that we must legislate three forms of laws in South Africa. We must legislate three broad categories of economic laws that will result in economic inclusion and also in a broadening uh, the, the economy in a manner that will satisfy everyone. The first set of laws must be about facilitation of black participation in the current economic interests. We must agree in principle that in all economic interests in the banking sector and insurance and all sectors, we must have a minimum of 50% black ownership. So we must have Black Economic Ownership Act that must facilitate black ownership of the economy. And the content of that black ownership must constitute worker control and ownership in terms of how it, is, it should be. The second set of laws that we must pass must be legislations that set aside a certain business interest for black people, and particularly the workers and the, 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 the poor. We should agree in principle that a certain number of business licenses for banking, for insurance sector, for asset management, are set aside for black companies. But also we must then have a third, the third category of laws that will speak to procurement by the state and making sure that at least there is localization on those that provide services to the state machinery. Because if apartheid was legislated to economically exclude the black majority, we can utilize this moment to legislate enforceable legislation that must include black people into the economy. That is part of the things that we must be talking about. If there was a degree of sophistication in the liberation movement, that is what you are supposed to, cut, to conceptualize as radical economic transformation, but you do not have any sense of sophistication, so we must give you guidance in terms of what should happen. So we stand here to now start a debate, a discourse, that is going to 
lead the, I'm sure in the 14th Thank of you, March when we deal with these Honorable issues Shibambu, in the Standing Committee of Finance and the, and the Portfolio Committee, expired. we deal with it far, far much more substantially. Shibambu, but this is the way you. we can then broaden economic participation mic, and include everyone Shibambu, else in the economy. Thank you very expired. much. Thank you. Honorable Shengwa.